Good evening, everybody. Welcome back to Fresh Bake. We got a little bit more of that taste of calico coming for you today. Me and this guy right here, we're going to enjoy some shopping, a little bit of food, and a little bit of that Knott's Berry Farm. Let's go. Town Jail. You know, I kind of was bummed that we missed this last time. We didn't get to do any Town Jail. You want to go see uh, Sad Eye Joe? Yeah. Do you know about Sad Eye Joe? No. I don't know any of um, Sad Eye Joe was a horse thief who was caught by the sheriff and now he's in the Town Jail. That's hot. So let's go see what's up with, with Sad Eye Joe. Howdy, how you folks doing? What's up, Sad Eye Joe? Are you okay? Oh, I'm doing fine. Oh, good. Are, you, are you having a good day, sweetie? Yeah, we are. We're eating a lot. Mmm, doggies, that sounds pretty good. <laughs> mm -hmm. You we... certainly can't fault someone for doing that. Amen to that. Do, do they give you any boysenberry in jail? No, I don't get no boysenberry. <laughs> they, 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 they brought me a big old pot of beans and bacon. This <laughs> That's it, huh? Not even, not even boysenberry beans? Meals, I'll tell you that. Wow, yeah. that, that makes me sad for you. Well, I'm pretty much used to it. I eat beans <laughs> and bacon every single day. I mean, but at least it's bacon. It could be, you know, worse, like Brussels sprouts or something. <laughs> That's true. I haven't seen a Brussels sprout in, gosh, it's going on 19, 20 years now. Wow. You've been in here for 19, 20 years? Oh, gosh, sweetie, I've been here over 75 oh, years. Oh, what did you do? I did a bad, bad thing, sweetheart. What did I stole a horse that didn't belong to me. But... But it was just one horse, right? It wasn't like ten horses. Well, it was the sheriff's horse. Oh, okay, well, that makes sense. <laughs> he's, a, he's a vindictive fellow, let me tell you. Wow. Well, I hope they let you out soon. Okay, yeah, hold your breath, honey. Okay, well, keep enjoying your pork and beans as fast <laughs> as you can. All right, sweetheart. You have a good day, okay? Thanks. Thanks, Sad Eye Joe. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. I had a feeling you didn't. You didn't know oh, about Sad Eye Joe. I was also like, he called me sweetie. That can't be something just like pre recorded. No, that's that. There's Sad Eye, yeah, it's not pre recorded. We got to have a conversation with Sad Eye Joe. That's a thing. That's I a thing here no at Knott's Berry idea. Farm. That's so cute. You're just like, hey, what's happening? I, I, feel like, I feel like I was five years old again. <laughs> I know, right? For a moment there. Yeah. yeah. Oh. Sad Eye Joe's legend here at Knott's. Oh, I had no idea. That was super fun. It is. We should go get him some boysenberry or something. <laughs> just sneak it in there. Yeah, man, I, I feel bad. I feel bad for Sad Eye Joe. He's a, he's a nice guy. He's very pleasant and, and cheerful and seems very, uh, you know, he seems to, to be sorry that he stole that horse. 75 years though? Come on, they gotta let him go. Well, down. it's Old West, man. Oh, man. They don't mess around, or they didn't mess around in the Old West. Now, uh, Knotts has got a relax zone here. You, you feel like relaxing for a minute? Get a little... For like a minute, because yeah. I want to I try to show anything. Oh, we're gonna. Don't worry about it. It's gonna be here. I mean, what a lovely setting for a relax zone. You can take your mask off while you're in here and chill out with the sounds of a waterfall. What? It's lovely. You're lovely. And just over these rocks is Bigfoot Rapids. That was yeah, that's a good that ride. Yeah. The lady's done relaxing. She wants some boba. All right, we're all the way back here by the uh, Bigfoot Rapids to go to the Wilderness Broiler. We tried to do this one last time, but they were sold out of the pastrami. Pastrami on a pretzel bun? Yeah. And some house chips? I mean, I do love me a pretzel. Look, look at how uh, burnt those ends are. I love that. Uh, I, how doughy is the pretzel bun? Is it firm or is it... Oh, it is doughy. Oh, that's nice. Yeah, that's not too bad. Um, I've been looking forward to this. I got the cucumber lemonade because Katie said it was better than the basil. I'm very nervous. But I am actually kind of curious to try the basil one again because apparently they made it taste uh, better. I don't think so. It's refreshing. 
Yeah? Mm -hmm. I mean, the, it's a very low bar to beat the basil lemonade. Is it better than regular lemonade? I like it because I like cucumber. Mm. It's, it's refreshing. It's like cucumber water, but with like, the hint of like lemonade. You might oh. like it. All right. Well, let's see how she likes the pastrami on a pretzel bun. It has like, it Ooh, like this a pickle. Honey... Oh, look at all that pastrami oh on there. Good heavens. Oh, dear. Jeez, it's a feast. Mm. For my delicate life. Mm -mm. Not delicate at all. That was so delicate. Mm -mm. I forgot. She's like a pretty daisy when she eats. <laughs> Do you like it? I do love pastrami still. Still? I don't, oh yeah, I don't her, her, uh, her, her taste for red meats have changed, yeah. Um, that's actually really good. Yeah? It's more like, um, I was expecting like a hot sandwich, but it's actually cold. The meat is cold? Mm -hmm. But pastrami sandwich can be cold. Um, I really like it though. I kind of wish it does was it like... Need, does it need any mustard? It looks like there is some mustard on it. There is mustard on, on it, yes. I'm going to put a chip in oh, it. Oh, oh, oh. It's a little too fatty She's for getting me. a little creative here. What's happening? What's happening? I'm making the perfect bite. That's a, that's a lot of pastrami for a perfect bite. Look What's at that. that. She's still going, oh, guys. Oh, wait, hold on. Okay, there we yeah, go. Once, at some point, she's going to stop putting pastrami on this sandwich. Okay, here we go. Oh, did you hear that crunch? I heard of it. the potato chip. Yeah. I'm digging this. You're digging this? Mm -hmm. This is my dinner right now, for sure. All right, okay, all right. You want to try it? Yeah, of course I do. Okay. I'm actually more curious about this than I am the pastrami. It's really good, but do you like cucumber? It's too strong. It's too okay. strong, it's cucumber eight. Okay. It's too strong. <laughs> I mean, it's better It's better than basil. For sure. But I just, I want to taste my lemon in my lemonade, man. You can put more pastrami in it if you like. But the You're chips right, the, the, definitely give it more of a crunch, though. It is cold. Yeah. Well, that's what I'm saying. There's a hot pastrami sandwich and there's just a pastrami sandwich, I think. Mm. It's good meat, though. The burn ends, you can taste that. Yeah. It's smoky. Mm-hmm. I love that. It's in, you know, it's more of a leaner cut. I sometimes like a leaner cut of pastrami than, uh... But the, I like corned beef more because I think it, it's less fatty. I, I don't like fatty pieces of pastrami. I would just like to eat the pastrami. Uh, the pretzel bun, is, it's... It's a heavy bun, it's a heavy bread, so it kind of dominates a little bit. But luckily it's soft, but the pastrami is fantastic. It's good. This actually might be up there uh, with the hot dog. Uh, so far the best thing on that we've had is the gumbo, I think. But that's, you think that's second? Do you think before the hot dog? Oh, I like the hot dog more than you did. The hot dog? Yeah, the, the boys were hot dog we got with the corn the first time we went. Oh yeah. No, this is two for me. Great. Yeah. Yay! I mean, if you get more of an appetite, and maybe. This is the second best lemonade we've had. <laughs> Man, I, I, I'm super bummed. The uh, Calico River Rapids, which is a, it's a super good ride, they just finished the refurb. Uh, you know, adding the Bigfoot guy and you know all the little thematic elements that they've added. But they they it, they finished it and then they closed it uh, before we ever had a chance to ride. Now it's been sitting here waiting for me to enjoy it, and it's even more like tempting being here I want to go on I want to go on the Calico River Rapids I do too that was a lot of fun when we, we did that yeah. like a thousand years ago cool. they yelled they yelled at me though for filming they told me to put my camera away um, a sweet little fan just told me the boba's really good oh yeah is that, that might be like the only last thing I might want to do where is it P P P for <laughs> boba all right, we got to head into the Gold Trails Hotel and Mercantile. Do a little boysenberry shopping. Look at this. How's it going? Uh, everything in here is uh, is purple. I kind of like it. Yeah. Ooh, bath bomb. Ten dollars a holy moly. <laughs> Don't touch it. Holy moly! Wow. Okay. It's really beautifully themed in here though. I love this little boysenberry arch that they've constructed with the boysenberry parasols. I know, I saw a cute little girl, she was like all just boysenberry out with her like boysenberry umbrella. Yeah. Like I'm a little jealous of that. Uh, yeah, we should definitely bound as like either cowboys or boysenberries when we come here Well, someday. that's why I kind of like, I went for the boys like purple Oh, you're, yeah, shot. your eyes shut. I didn't yeah. even notice that. I got a little bit of my, my purple jewelry on. Yeah. But I was like, I need more purple. What you need 
<laughs> is a purple shirt. Right, so. Like I've got. You gotta get a purple shirt. Maybe I should buy something for Taste of Nons if I can make it. If not, I'll just have a souvenir because, you know. Yeah. You know. What about some uh, boysenberry uh, sleep pants or whatever they're called? Pajamas? What are those? It looks like a bracelet. Is it? Yeah, it's bracelets. All right. I mean, I'm not gonna lie. I'm, oh. I have a thousand necklaces that I don't wear, but I am a sucker for jewelry. I really, really wear. Those are beautiful. And look at that. They literally are growing from a tree. They're only $13. That's not bad. Yeah. That's an amazing tree. It's really cute. Look at You know, I think we have this in there. We have, we have we this have in this our fridge in, right yeah, now. And you're not I am eating it. Every Are time you? I make a peanut butter and jelly, okay. I use that. There's beef jerky chips. That's oh, yeah, that's intriguing. Yeah. Uh, How do I feel about that? Boysenberry beef jerky. Hmm. See, hmm. I love those cookies. Oh yeah, but you, you can get these. I saw these at the at the Stater Brothers today. Yeah, I know. You don't have to come no, to Nuts to get those. There's boysenberry punch. I wouldn't mind trying that someday. Sugar free concentrate. Oh, wait, babe, what do we get? Did you, did you leave our chicken in the fridge? Or is it in the freezer? Chicken's in the fridge. I'm going to do boysenberry. Mirror name, I'm not ready. I, I, I'm not ready for You're that. Not ready? No. <laughs> okay, I was like, we'll definitely no. try that. I, I think I'd want to taste that or we sample gotta, it or something. We've got to remind each other tonight. we got to yeah. chicken. Sorry, guys. It's a reminder of real life. <laughs> uh, rum boysenberry. Wait, what? Actual rum? It's a saucy topping. It's not rum rum, though. Wait, that's tequila. Yeah, rum, brandy. Tequila. Oh, Wait, what? <laughs> Whiskey. Okay. I think for boysenberry, either brandy. rum or brandy would taste really good. I'm not feeling the tequila. Dude, this seems like that yeah, might kill a man. So there is, there there's are. no like actual alcohol per se. I mean, there is alcohol, but it's it's cooked out or whatever. That so really you can only taste on. it. I think I you can build your own jam sampler. How many jams do you get? Oh, you, whatever you can, you can fit build into a it. tube. You, you put it. You get a tube of jam. Jam. You can get a tube of jam. You know how you get over a man? What? Make, a tube? make, make jam. Hi, Katie. <laughs> I want a tube of jam. I know, right? <laughs> I just heard the sounds of a tube of jam. You can tube build of your jam. own jam sampler for twelve ninety nine. Yeah. That's sweet. Grab a tube. Grab a tube. Put some jam in it. So there's boysenberry. Oh and that's orange marmalade and that's red raspberry and then that's more boysenberry so that you can only there's only three kinds four three but you can fit five of them in there how many jams will so you got to double up well i would want uh, to uh. are you done for the day yes sir have a wonderful night you too have a good Howdy, partner! <laughs> wow. I mean, this makes me miss the jamboree and the country. Music. This makes me miss going to theme parks and having a good time and like enjoying myself because that is fantastic. That makes me want to go in there and spend $20. Dylan, what, what is this? What's happening? It's the greatest show on earth. That's what that is. What? Does it just do this? Is this like. Yeah. That's the puppet theater. Oh my god. <laughs> Dylan, I can't. I can't. This is I like the guy in the middle. The guy in the middle is the best. This guy over here is really getting Look at this sway in his neck. It reminds me a little bit of the uh, of Merlin in Magic Happens on the right. <laughs> you remember Merlin? Oh yeah, crazy Merlin. With the legs. That's him. That's, this is where he got his inspiration. Wow. I think I'm gonna I think I'm gonna do a 30 minute acoustic video of this. <laughs> Just, I'm gonna hypnotize all of my audience. 120,000 people are just gonna get hypnotized. Yeah. Are those actual minor hats or are they minion hats? They should be minor hats. I mean, minions is universal. Well, it does say Calico Mine Company on the on the hat right there. Oh, I'm so curious what Sophia's gonna be into when she gets older. Like, is she gonna grab for a pony, or is she gonna grab for like a llama? Is she gonna grab a cow or a pig? Like, I feel it? like I feel like she'd be a pig. You think? Yeah. I mean, you know what she was enjoying a lot uh, is uh, your pink uh, Care Bear. Oh, really? Yeah. My baby likes Care Bear. Yeah. That's my girl. I had one of these when I was a young man. 
this is magnetic and there's a bunch of like little this, oh, see this fun. stuff here you take your magnet and you put it and you can make a beard or you can make a mustache depending on where you place your magnetic little beads I, think I, only have a I used to have one of those wow how do you feel bringing it back bringing it back yeah, yeah. did you ask this did spencer have one spencer? i don't know uh <laughs> spencer did you ever have one of these oh yeah yeah with uh, the magnet the one i remember was uh willy woolly Willy Willy. Wow, you can even name it? Willy really? Willy Wow. Uh, he wasn't the cowboy version. No. He was, he was kind of looked more like Wait, a convict. That kind of sounds familiar. Like, like he was a bald convict. Like I didn't, guy. I didn't do it, but like in the antiques. But I love that <laughs> so much. Yeah. In the old retro stores? Yeah, probably. Or the, or like, the old people um, shop? What's that place called? Rocket Fizz. They probably had something like yeah. that Rocket uh, yeah, Fizz, like yeah. in Burbank. Probably. Up in your garage? Uh, I'm, that's gonna ha one of these days, that's going to happen. Seriously. Yeah. You can't touch the garbage. And, and, and when I do, I'm going to get one of these train whistles. Oh, whistles. I'm pretty sure that's a whistle. train whistle. That is so dope. Yeah. I, would, I would do it. And, and, then, then, <laughs> and a conductor hat and a train whistle and you're set. Yeah. Yeah. I'll yeah. never see him ever again. I want, we found a little Snoopy section here. This little furry Snoopy fella. It's like Sheriff Snoopy. You know, they got a whole peanut store across the street. Not in the park, but across the street. It's pretty great. And here's a little Knott's Berry Farm mug with Snoopy on it. Fantastic. I used to love Charlie Brown and Snoopy cartoons when I was a young man. They were my favorite. We've got lots more videos for you to see, so grab a churro and check out some of our other videos and have your mind blown by how much fun we're having. We truly are the best of Disney Bake Fresh Daily. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel. We'll see you next time. Fresh Baked!